The all-new Disney Adventure just had its grand reveal event, and we now know a lot more about this massive new ship coming to the Disney Cruise Line fleet next year, including its maiden voyage date. We're going to be covering everything you missed in yesterday's reveal and so much more up next. <laughs> Before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to our travel agent partners, MC Travel Company. If you're looking to plan your next Disney World or Disney Cruise Line vacation and want the help of a dedicated and professional travel agent at no extra cost to you, then click the link in the description below or scan the QR code on screen now to get connected with MC Travel Company today. By booking with them, you're not only supporting my channel, but you can also earn up to $100 in onboard credit to use on your next cruise. Now, for those of you who may be unaware, Disney Cruise Line purchased a half-built mega ship called the Global Dream several years ago as the company originally building the vessel went bankrupt. Instead of letting the ship go to scrap, the Disney company saw it as an opportunity to expand into the Asian market and is now retrofitting the Global Dream to be an all-new Disney Cruise Line ship. It's important to note that the Disney Adventure will likely be a one-off member of the Disney Cruise Line fleet as we don't foresee Disney going out of their way to construct another dedicated mega ship like this one. So be aware that several of the attractions and venues we discuss in today's reveal will likely remain exclusive to this ship. Let's go ahead and get to the press release and see what's coming to the Disney Adventure starting with the Upper Decks. Surrounded by the open sea and sky, the upper decks of the Disney Adventure will have something for everyone to enjoy. At Marvel Landing, guests will experience Avengers-level adventures on three all-new attractions and experiences inspired by iconic Marvel superheroes. On Iron Cycle Test Run, an 820-foot-long roller coaster, guests will test drive Tony Stark's latest Iron Cycle prototype on a thrilling high-speed circuit and be suspended up to 30 feet above the upper decks. Aboard Pym Quantum Racers, guests will steer Pym Tech modified mini cars on an oversized toy set track. And Groot Galaxy Spin will take guests on an out of this world ride on board a Novacore base jumper, set to an awesome mix of upbeat music. Also on the upper decks, Toy Story Place will inspire guests to explore, play, connect, and have fun in a whimsical water playland where the world of Pixar's Toy Story will spring to life. Designed for families with young children, the area will include playful water features inspired by the films, including a large family pool, multiple whirlpools, towering water slides, and interactive splash pads. At Wayfinder Bay on the Disney Adventure, guests will be called to an open air oasis under the sun, where relaxation and exclusive entertainment await. Tucked away in the back of the ship, this relaxing pool area will be complete with plush seating and loungers arranged among tiered decks offering some of the most stunning views of land, sea, and sky aboard the ship. Guests of all ages will find fun and relaxation at Wayfinder Bay, whether cooling down with a frosty beverage from Voyager Bar or chilling out in the waiting pool with built-in sun shelf. Paired with a jumbo LED screen, the pool will double as a one-of-a-kind performance venue for live shows and interactive events, including Moana Call of the Sea, a musical adventure that retells Moana's epic quest and voyage of self-discovery and friendship with the legendary demigod Maui across the ocean. In San Francisco Street, guests will find Big Hero Arcade, a dynamic family gaming lounge. The centerpiece of Big Hero Arcade will be the Hero Training Zone, an immersive training simulator, an active full body experience that will allow groups of four to put their skills to the test as they run, dodge, and block their way across a high-tech gaming floor. In addition to that, Baymax Cinemas will play a variety of Disney, Pixar, Marvel, and Lucasfilm movies throughout each day, providing guests with abundant opportunities to catch current releases, including film premieres on the same day which they debut on land, and classic Disney favorites all on the big screen. In true Disney Cruise Line fashion, dazzling stage shows and Broadway-style entertainment will capture the hearts of guests. At the Walt Disney Theater, two spectacular productions will come to life on stage. Remember, an all-new musical spectacular developed exclusively for the Disney Adventure will be a heartwarming tale featuring the beloved robot duo from Disney Pixar's WALL-E and other beloved Disney stars. And a favorite of the fleet, Disney Sees the Adventure will take guests on a musical journey through beloved stories featuring iconic Disney Disney songs and characters. At the heart of the ship, Disney Imagination Garden will have a state-of-the-art garden stage with three deck-high LED screens, setting a wondrous scene for guests with its open-air amphitheater-style seating. It will be home to several shows starring favorite Disney and Marvel characters, including Let's Set Sail, a high-energy dance party that will jumpstart the fun on Embarkation Day, Avengers Assemble, an epic battle of Marvel superheroes and villains, Captain Jack Sparrow and the Siren Queen, a swap 
swashbuckling adventure helmed by the roguish and charming Jack Sparrow, Mickey's Color Spin Dance Party, a vibrant and energetic celebration perfect for Disney music lovers of all ages, and Baymax Super Exercise Expo, a musical exercise show inspired by the members of Big Hero 6. At Disney Discovery Reef on the Disney Adventure, families will play, shop, and dine in an ethereal and ever-changing retreat, evoking favorite aquatic characters and nautical stories from Disney and Pixar including The Little Mermaid, Lilo and Stitch, Finding Nemo, and Luca. This vibrant outdoor hub will be located toward the back of the ship and open to the sky and stars seven decks above. Moving on from the entertainment, let's go ahead and get into the dining on board the Disney Adventure. The Disney Adventure will offer rotational dining, Disney Cruise Line's signature dining concept in which guests will have three distinct Disney dining experiences during their voyage, with a preset dining schedule included with each booking. Guests will also be accompanied by the same dedicated service team assigned to their dining party throughout the voyage, adding an elevated and personal touch to each meal. Every guest aboard the Disney Adventure will enjoy a delightful dining experience at one of the ship's two entertainment restaurants. These standout venues will offer dinner with flair, with signature entertainment featuring appearances and interactions with Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, and Daisy Duck. Navigators Club will honor the prestigious maritime tradition of exclusive Captain's Table dinners. Hollywood Spotlight Club will evoke the glitz and glamour of the golden age of Hollywood. Guests will also dine at one of two magically animated restaurants celebrating the art and artistry as well as the legacy of Disney and Pixar animated films. Beyond dinner, this will be a one-of-a-kind experience where the dining rooms will transform from black and white to full spectrum throughout the meal and guests' own drawings spring to life and star alongside famous characters in a show-dropping on-screen animated finale throughout the dining rooms. Animator's palette will be adorned with film strips and props from favorite Disney movies such as Disney Animation's Little Mermaid and Encanto and Pixar's Toy Story. Animator's Table will feature authentic artwork from iconic films such as Disney Animation's Aladdin and Frozen and Pixar's Finding Nemo, showcasing the process of transforming a hand-drawn sketch into living animation. The spirit and whimsy of beloved Disney and Pixar films will set the stage for meals at Enchanted Summer Restaurant and Pixar Market Restaurant. Both locations will serve buffet-style breakfast and lunch each day, then switch to table service dinners as part of the dinnertime lineup during each voyage. Enchanted Summer Restaurant will be a cozy village dining hall inspired by Disney Animation's Tangled and Frozen. In the Maximus dining room, guests will feel as if they stepped into a colorful, hand-painted rendition of Tangled, while the Olaf dining room will be inspired by a summer snow day celebration in the Kingdom of Arendelle. Pixar Market Restaurant and Toy Story Place will be a celebration of Pixar films. Each dining area will capture the spirit of one of the studio's beloved films from Inside Out and Monsters University to Turning Red, The Incredibles, and more. In addition to the elaborately themed restaurants, guests can choose from a diverse array of dining options, including fine dining, scrumptious snacks, quick service restaurants, 24-hour room service, specialty treats, and gourmet cafes. For premium dining on board the Disney Adventure, we have Paolo Trattoria, an elegant upscale restaurant offering exquisite Italian fare, exceptional wines, and superlative service, exclusively for adults on board. And we have Mike and Sully's Flavors of Asia, a premier dining establishment offering four distinct experiences, a full-service Japanese steakhouse, a lively teppanyaki room, a chic bar with omasaki-style dining and an outdoor sushi and sashimi offering. Little bit of a side note here, I do think that this was a huge missed opportunity to not call it Harryhausen's from the movies, just saying. Gourmet dining at Palo Trattoria and Mike and Sully's will be available by reservation for an additional charge. Some of the available quick service restaurants on board the Disney Adventure include Bewitching Boba and Brews, Vibrant Pop Art, Bright Neon Lights, and Nods to Ursula the Sea Witch from Disney's Little Mermaid will be prominently featured in this eclectic establishment that will offer popular bubble teas and other wickedly delicious concoctions. Stitch's Ohana Grill, a chill beach style hangout inspired by the Hawaiian setting of of Disney's Lilo and Stitch, this diner will dish up burgers, sandwiches, and classic American fare. Cosmic Kebabs Inspired by Marvel Studios' Miss Marvel, this quick service restaurant will offer a flavorful menu of pitas and kebabs. 
Mowgli's Eatery. Serving Indian cuisine, including vegetarian and regional dishes, this casual eatery will be inspired by Mowgli's epic journey through the jungles of India in Disney Animation's The Jungle Book. Grandma Tala's Kitchen, an inviting eatery inspired by the vibrant scenery and island flair of Disney's Moana, serving an imaginative menu showcasing the diverse flavors found throughout the Pacific and Asia. And Palo Cafe, a quaint coffee bar offering a selection of espresso and coffee drinks along with light bites throughout the day in a warm, inviting venue inspired by the seaside Italian town of Porto Rosso from the Pixar film Luca. Let's go ahead and move on to the staterooms of the Disney Adventure. The accommodations on the Disney Adventure will blend modern comfort with the enchanting spirit of beloved Disney animation, Pixar, and Marvel stories. Each stateroom will feature thoughtful amenities, family-friendly conveniences, and special Disney touches. The ship's world-class accommodations will be equipped with innovations and designs that ensure the ultimate in comfort and relaxation. They will also offer conveniences and amenities that ensure guests of all ages are cared for and have features that make them purposely designed for families in their onboard home away from home. Most main staterooms will feature Disney Cruise Line's signature split bathroom concept, with a sink and shower in one room and a sink and toilet in a separate room, allowing two people to get ready at once. Elevated bed frames will provide generous underbed space to store suitcases and other bulky items essential to family travel, and a menu of complimentary baby and toddler essentials will be available upon request at guest services, including cribs, bottle warmers, diaper disposal units, and bottle sterilizers. The concierge experience on the Disney Adventure will be elevated for those seeking the ultimate in luxury and personalized service. With an abundance of dedicated services and benefits that provide convenience and personalization, concierge guests will enjoy access to exclusive areas and amenities, including private retreats, luxury shopping, and first-class spa and fitness facilities. The concierge lounge inspired by Disney's Aladdin will be an ideal setting for relaxation, featuring complimentary refreshments and gourmet bites throughout the day. Concierge guests will feel at home in large, lavishly appointed concierge staterooms and suites that combine refined elegance and amenities with Disney touches such as curated artwork and thoughtful design inspired by iconic Disney and Marvel films like Aladdin, Little Mermaid, and The Avengers. Something that is worth noting is that on other Disney Cruise Line ships, concierge guests did have a dedicated area outside on the main deck, but the area was always typically small. From what I understand here, the Disney Adventure will feature a dedicated deck just for concierge guests. And based off the concept art, this space looks massive. That also includes several pools as well. Let's go ahead and get into the adult exclusive and children exclusive spaces on board the Disney Adventure. The Disney Adventure will feature spaces dedicated exclusively for adults and kids, allowing everyone to choose their own adventure. In addition to Palo Trattoria, adults will have the opportunity to unwind at a variety of restaurants, bars, and lounges throughout the ship, including the Buccaneer Bar, where guests can sip on high-end brews and watch live sporting events here in swashbuckling style, Tiana's Bayou Lounge, brimming with New Orleans-style hospitality, the lounge will serve craft cocktails, zero-proof cocktails, creative mocktails, specialty coffees and teas, and Tiana's famous beignets. Spellbound, a shadowy lounge inspired by the evil queen from Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, serving up delicious potions of the cocktail kind, along with zero-proof cocktails and mocktails. Market Bar, an alfresco cafe serving up an inspired menu of refreshing beverages, specialty coffees, cocktails, zero-proof cocktails and mocktails, and Taverna Porto Rosso, an intimate and picturesque sports bar inspired by Pixar's Luca, where guests can have a drink, watch a game, and enjoy the view of the bustling breezeway below. Now let's get onto the kids' exclusive spaces. Signature Kids Clubs will provide a world of possibilities for the youngest guests on the Disney adventure. Disney's Oceaneers Club will be a wonderland of immersive space is designed to encourage exploration and discovery for children aged 3 to 10. Divided into themed areas that bring to life beloved Disney, Pixar, and Marvel stories, each space will be designed for storytelling, creativity, arts and crafts, dress up, playing games, watching Disney movies, and meeting favorite Disney characters. For the littlest guests ages 6 months to 3 years, It's a Small World Nursery will offer babysitting services for a nominal fee in a whimsical environment inspired by the beloved Disney attraction of the same name. Teens aged 14 to 17 will find their haven at Vibe, a dynamic space where they can meet new friends, watch movies, play games, and engage in group activities designed just for them. 
For tweens age 11 to 14, Edge offers a vibrant clubhouse where they can have fun, make friends, and enjoy various games. Both Vibe and Edge are cleverly hidden in plain sight, disguised as storefronts on San Francisco Street, creating an ultra-exclusive and ultra-cool retreat for teens and tweens to call their own. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys can see, we now know a heck of a lot more about the Disney Adventure setting sail next year. And guys, I am very happy to announce that we have a maiden voyage date finally for the Disney Adventure. The Disney Adventure will set sail out of Singapore starting on December 15th of 2025. Bookings for the Disney Adventure will open for everybody on December 10th of 2024. And of course, Castaway Club members will have the opportunity to book several days earlier, depending on your status. As for us, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to make it to the maiden voyage for this sailing because December is a pretty expensive time of year to travel. And for a ship this large, we would need to do a back-to-back -back cruise in order to have a chance at seeing everything that this new ship has to offer so that would be two sailings and flying out to Singapore so I have no idea if we're gonna be able to sail in December but we will for sure be out in January if we're not able to do it in December but anyways, guys, I want to hear from you down in the comments section below. What do you think about the Disney adventure? What do you think about this reveal? What are you most looking forward to about this ship? And are you guys planning on booking a sailing on this brand new ship? As always, guys, make sure you keep it tuned right here to the channel for any and all breaking news regarding Disney Cruise Line, as we will be here covering it for you guys as soon as possible. If you want to make sure you stay up to date and don't miss out on anything, then make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. We are so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers and I would love to have you be a part of this journey. And of course, guys, if you found the information in this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, then please help us out by leaving a like on the video as it will help you to push the video out to more people who love Disney cruising just like you. I hope you are all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, and evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.